Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm coming to you today from the Knight Industries Mobile Command Center Lounge. Now, I know what you're thinking. This lounge doesn't look anything like the lounge you saw on the show. Well, we're going to rectify that down the road. So, we've had a ton of new subscribers to the channel over the last, uh, what, two weeks since we unveiled that we had the, the semi-trailer. So, first of all, welcome to all of you. We're so glad you're here. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, we are the Night Rider Stories. I say we, even though it's only just me here right now, but there's a, a small group of us, dedicated Night Rider fans, who have spent the last 25 years... Uh, talking to cast and crew members, collecting props from the show, finding out the behind the scenes stuff. And um, this has been an exciting year. Not only is it Knight Rider's 40th anniversary, but we recently saved the screen used Knight Rider semi trailer, the only one there ever was. Now, I know a lot of you in the comments are saying, well, there had to be more than one. Look at the different paint jobs. No, there was only ever one trailer from the pilot to Voodoo Night, the end of the series. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. So if you're new to the channel, take some time, check out our back catalog of videos. We also uh, saved the Knight Rider semi-tractor, which we recently reunited with the trailer. We're, we're doing a restoration on that. We're rest, restoring this. We have two of the five surviving Knight Rider cars. So um, it's just an exciting time to be a Knight Rider fan. But for this video today, we're finally going to start tearing apart the trailer. We're going to start ripping out um, some of the extra belly box components underneath, the ones that weren't there on the show. Some of them were. Most of the ones currently on it were not there. Um, we're also going to uh, tear off the generator on the front of the trailer. So the generator was put on sometime in the last... 25 years ish 25 30 years we're guessing and um, that's coming off because we got to restore the front of the trailer back to the way it was along with the rest of it and we're also going to rip out the water tanks there were water tanks actually right underneath where i'm sitting and those are all going to get ripped out because again it wasn't like that whenever it was on the show so we're reverting everything back to the way it was so, so thanks for joining us on this journey of restoring the night rider trailer and with that let's get going So we have already begun the tearing apart because we're like eager children, can't wait. Um, so we've already drilled out the pop rivets that were here, took off that door. We drilled out the uh, rivets that were here, took off this door. To give you an idea, the original setup, the whole thing all the way at the bottom here was not there. It basically just goes up here, this little kind of V shape, that was original. It comes back up there and then everything basically from here on out down does not belong in the trailer. So these cabinet doors, this side skirting all the way back here, that should be gone. And basically the bottom of the trailer should stop here, goes all the way, ends right here. This part is original, it just kind of hangs down a little bit. So here you get kind of a mental picture. I mean, you see what it looks like now, but you had an idea in your mind of what it's supposed to look like after we start, uh, after we get done removing all these pieces. This is uh, one of our flag summer interns, Andrew, who is helping us disassemble Hello. the unnecessary parts to the trailer to help it get back to its uh, original look. You can see he removed the front panel here. There was a uh, little mini strip that was there that was uh, removed. And as you can see here, some uh, luscious cacti pieces and uh, southwestern rodent poop have uh, made it safely to the uh, trek out east. So we're getting ready to pop off this last one here in this panel. Hang on, hang on. There. 
Yes! Yes! It's already looking better. Oh, yeah. By far. Yes! <laughs> Too bad this wasn't out before they changed the tires. Yeah, it would have made it a lot easier. Yeah, it would have made their job a lot easier. Yeah. Original mud flaps are still under there, which there was no, there's no need for them to be under there. Because the, that box would stop everything. Yeah. Well, to really find out where this came from, I'm going to take one of these paint chips and uh, Kit, run this through your analyzer, will you? Hey guys, Eric here, assistant Knight Rider historian. And today we're just gonna dive right in to some dirty work. Um, Joe's working on removing the water tank um, with our uh, foundation summer intern, Andrew. And I have the joyous task of cleaning out a lot of cacti pieces and a lot of mouse poop. So Joe had that joy when he uh, did the same thing, clean out mouse poop from his original uh, hardtop stunt car and the original tractor. So uh, I don't really have a good reason not to help out. So today's my turn and uh, here we go. So let's get started. Sorry about that. That's good. Just yeah. hold out, Andrew. There you have it. Oh, that's one water tank. There's a second one. I know the other one isn't doesn't have cactus on it. Okay. El Monte plastic. Here. What'd you find there, Andrew? Let me show you all. This is my friend Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. I'm sure, it's not Jerry. I'm sure. <laughs> He likes, he likes some. Um, Warm weather? Yeah. And he also likes to uh, sleep for a very long time. He likes to hide in spare tires of semi-trailers. The night mouse. Look at his nice, beautiful, clean, cleanly, pearly white. Are those his ribs? Yeah, those, oh yeah. yeah. Check out the ribs. Oh, he needs to eat a little more. Yeah. He's looking a little... Peaked? Peaked. Johnny's playing with the runway lights. He's like... Just kidding. <laughs> so we just finished about I don't know 45 minutes of mouse duty and uh mouse duty yeah mouse duty and we cleaned up enough off of the carpets of the cacti pieces and poo to uh pull up the carpet and save us from having to clean up more than we need to um so you get maybe a better angle there so we just let you bring him in and show him oh yeah let's uh come walk with me experience some of what we experienced 360 let me tell you if you have never dealt played with cleaned up touched been around smelled mouse poo it is a smell you will never forget
Well, we got it out. That was not easy. That is a monster of a generator. So now what to do with it, right? Well, we have no idea if it works. I mean, it really would need all new hoses, new wiring, everything. And we're not wanting to do any of that stuff. So we're gonna sell it kind of as is um, and see if we can recoup some money to put back into the trailer. But um, yeah, we managed to get it out. There's also a gas tank that was mounted on top of it and a muffler for the exhaust, which you don't see here. Um, we're gonna see if we can just sell this all like on Facebook Marketplace for a, um, just as a, as a bundle and, and get it sold so we have more money to put back into the trailer. Well, that was harder than I thought it would be, much like everything else, but, oh, it's looking better already, right? It's starting to look more like the semi. Now if we can only get that stupid air conditioner out of there. Obviously, we're gonna have cleanup to do here. We gotta cut these down, grind them. Take a look at this, this is full of water. Makes you wonder how long. I mean, I guess every time it rains, those would just fill up with water. Is this one full? No, that one's not. So those need cut off. And then obviously all those wires, we have holes to fill, the ladder, we're gonna have a giant hole. I think we're gonna have to put a new uh, panel in on this side pretty much. Um, Cause obviously that's gonna be too big to fill. So it's coming together. Okay guys, that'll do it for us today. I'm exhausted. Um, let me know in the comments, what do you wanna see us do next on the trailer? We're trying to get all the outside stuff done, but if there's something on the inside you really wanna see, maybe we'll take a little diversion and do that. So let us know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please share it with your family, with your friends, please like, please make sure you're subscribed. And don't forget, we do have a GoFundMe set up to restore the trailer and tractor. It's a huge undertaking, so check that out. There's a link up above and a link down below in the description. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.